Healing is certainly something all of us need throughout our entire lives. There's not a single person on the planet who doesn't find him or herself in need of some form of healing of body, mind, and spirit. And this follows us all the way from cradle to grave. And healing can be somewhat frustrating as well. How many times in our lives or the life of a loved one have we seen all sorts of attempts by physicians to get at the heart of a physical problem, and yet we never quite seem to get there, or a therapist or a psychologist to help figure out what we need for healing of mind, and we never seem to quite get there. The story of the healing of the woman with a hemorrhage found in Mark's Gospel is a fascinating one. It's an interlude, a bit of an interruption, in a narrative where Jesus is quite intentionally going to a leader of the synagogue's home to ultimately raise his daughter back from the dead. He doesn't even know until she comes and tells him what happened. The woman just touches the fringe of his cloak, thinking, if I can just do that, I will be healed. And she is. The text says she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. In other words, the healing was complete, and she knew beyond the shadow of a doubt that it was complete. And this is really how divine healing works. Unlike healing in the human sphere, where there's always an element of incompleteness and an element of doubt, the divine healing is complete, and we know it's complete. We feel it in our bodies, in our minds, and in our souls. Now, this does not in any way supplant human healing. Nowhere in the text did it say that the woman was wrong for having sought the help of others or whatever modality she needed to find healing. And yet when she touched the fringe of Jesus' cloak, that's when it actually happened in all completeness. And the question this raises is, can we share this woman's faith? Can we, as we do the halting and sometimes frustrating enterprise of healing in the human sphere, not only ourselves, but one another, can we always have that element of faith, that element of trust, that an utterly complete divine healing is possible, is available, and on God's good time and according to God's good plan, it may come our way or the way of anyone for whom we desire to see it happen.